<laughs> Welcome back, guys. Back in the kitchen to make something that is definitely Mother's Day inspired. Mm. This much cute, okay, can <laughs> only be involved in a Mother's Day. Caitlin, thank you so much for joining us. So, um, what are we making? Shame, I always smother you guys with cute, don't I? Yeah, yeah. You know what? it's like a big pink, pink shotgun. <laughs> Graham's opening is still ringing in my ears of being a soft and fluffy Friday. <laughs> 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 so, so this is really it. This is something different that you can make for your mom on yeah. Mother's Day, right? Yeah. Something oh. a little bit different. It's okay. called bubble tea. Bubble tea. Bubble and tea. it's a mm. Taiwanese drink that they drink over there, and cool. they actually call it boba. boba. Um, and mm. it's iced tea with sago in it. Oh, wow. okay. Yeah, and you it's were telling me how much you I love sago. sago. Sago pudding is, is like the best. Exactly. Mm. So this was actually invented when, when someone was eating sago pudding yeah. and drinking iced tea, and they spooned it Why in. Why not mix the two together? Okay. It makes sense, doesn't it? Nice. I wouldn't try it myself, though, but okay, well, you're going to show us now. Exactly. So you start, the base is, is tea, so we've got some hot water in here, and we're going to just pop in. These are normal tea bags. This is um, salon that we've got here, but you can use rooibos, you could use chai, you know, whatever right. your heart A nice fancies. vanilla tea would go well with this, yeah. Amazing. Sure. Look at you. Um, you can really experiment with this one. <laughs> <laughs> so that's just going to brew, and then we're going to sweeten it with the, the salati sweetener. Okay, some sweetener. So you could use, um, you know, if, if you're like me and they like the sweet stuff, yeah. I would use caster sugar, but, you know, you're watching your you know, figure. You know, it's just got to look, look <laughs> after. You never know when he's going to have to run around topless. That's one, the thing. One so. or two. Uh, well, what two. do you feel like? I, I feel very sweet Ooh. this morning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I see you've come to terms with our, our shaker there. Yeah. I've, 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 got the, I've got the workings of it down, okay? <laughs> So that's just going to brew and, you know, like a normal pot of tea. Yes. Yeah, brew, brew. Exactly. Yeah. And we've got some over here that's cooled. So once it's once it's cooled, um, we're now going to make the Sago part okay, of now this it. Okay, this I want to see, eh? So this is, this is uh, Sago. So how did you make that? But that's like, like Sago without the white. How, what, is this what Sago normally looks well, like? Well, you no. know, you get the dry, it's the dry little balls and you boil that in water. Yes. So you boil it until it's nice and firm, but not mushy. You don't okay. want it to go mushy. And we just gelatinous. It is, but you'll see how it separates now when we pour in the tea. So I'm I just think, gonna you know, I never used to like Sago when I was younger, but because I think, I think, I don't know who it was that told me that it's, it's frog eggs. Yeah. Mm. When it, it looks like frog eggs and I, I, I just couldn't wrap my mind around eating that. That's probably what my mother told me to get me to eat it in the first <laughs> time. She's like, no, it's <laughs> frog eggs. Such a rebel, Graham. I must say, my brother also played that trick on me. So I'm also oh, not too fond of it, but as I've gotten older, you know, you it, develop. It's, it's an acquired taste, yeah. it really is. So tea goes in there. Oh, cool, and remember, this, this is sweetened already. Yes. Cool. And then we've got some milk. Oh, wow. Just to make it a little bit milk. You don't have to add the milk. You can add fruit juice. You can make it fruity okay. if you want. I like the idea. It's a great place and to work from. This is really cool, man. And then you think now that if the bubble tea is because of the tapioca, right? No, the bubble tea is yes. because it actually makes bubbles when you shake oh, wow. it. So while Caitlin is shaking that up, remember you can make your mom bubble tea this Mother's Day. You can just SMS the keyword salati to 33728. We'll send you all the ingredients <laughs> straight to your phone. <laughs> I almost needed your help there. So, so is this? that the bubbles? The little the bubbles. bubbles, yes. Look and then that. we've got these beautiful ice blocks that are quite cute to make for mom. What so have you done? Like oh, rose man. petals, we've got some mint, mint in there. Some oh, raspberry. raspberries. Nice. That's cool. Yeah, so just funky, to add something man. different and pretty. It makes it look like you've gone to a lot of effort. Shame, we should have told moms not to watch today so that all <laughs> these would come as a surprise on Sunday. Yeah. You can just, you must act surprised. Yeah, I'm sure moms are well practiced at that. So oh, then wow. this goes in there. I'm quite eager to taste this, eh? This is. Something quite different. It is. But you know, in Taiwan it's normal. They they drink this all the time. <laughs> and then we oh, want to get some wow. of this. So once again that keyword salati to three three seven to eight will send all the ingredients you need to make your mom bubble tea straight to your phone. Oh, that looks there delicious, go. man. Um, I feel sad that Kat's not here this morning, but actually very jealous because he is meeting the cream of the crop at this year's Somers, um, and he's about to introduce another one of our, I think, favorites to take home a, an award. Oh, back to Sun City.